Hello everyone, Evasion here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to make a quick guide for War Dancer for the Tier 1 Chaos Dungeons, which are very easy content. But for those new players that might not necessarily have an idea of what they want to take, I got a pretty good entry level build to massive AoE damage and get you clearing these Chaos Dungeons really fast. Let's hop straight into it. So something worth mentioning before starting off the video, since a lot of you new players have probably not done Chaos Dungeons before, when you first get to North Vern, you'll get a quest from the Queen's Castle, which will kind of introduce and continue your story quest, but you will get sent to this Professor Ronatus guy, and he will introduce you to Chaos Dungeons, which you can queue right here um, on the map that's in the north center part of uh, Vern Castle. And basically, so yeah, we're going to get into the skills. For the skill build, we are going to be using uh, Moonflash Kick. Now, I have 258 skill points. I have gained a couple extra skill points from leveling up. So if you do not quite have this many skill points upon hitting level 50, we will kind of cover that as well. But this is probably one of the last things I'm going to max for this build because it's not as important for Chaos Dungeons. Uh, we want to get Seismic Strike, and I took Sustain Enhancement for more Earthquakes, took Upright, so it makes it go off way faster, which is important. You can increase the damage with these two rows, but we really want to focus on the clear speed and just going through and crushing the content. And this makes the ability go off a lot faster, so it's pretty fun. And then Great Earthquake will make the AoE of this ability much bigger, and it will give you even more Earthquakes. So you're going to be pumping mad damage. And this ability is actually really fun because you can get off... Uh, like, you can kind of pre-plant it, or you can use this in open world too, and you can actually farm some herbs and just have it constantly lock up a mob while you're farming. But anyway, so getting into the next ability, uh, Wind's Whisper, absolutely really important for this build. You take Oath of the Wind, which increases your crit rate when you activate this. You take Quit Prep, which makes it have a six second lower cooldown. We can maybe eventually switch these to another row once we get more swiftness stats. Super Wind is, is crazy for blowing uh, light mobs up, it does a massive amount of damage. And when I hit level 50, before I queued a single Chaos Dungeon, and then I moved into my entry level 302 item level gear, uh, which I will show, uh, I'll show my gear really soon here. Um, this went from dealing 10,000 damage to 15,000 damage. Literally in 10 minutes, in two dungeons, I went up 50% damage upon hitting level 50 and getting to North Burn. Pretty damn cool. So the next skill that's really important is Swift Wind Kick. Between, I would say out of this whole build, Swift Wind Kick is probably the most important ability and you take fire round kick, wide hit to make the AoE bigger, and extreme training, which is gonna make the kick last longer. And more importantly, it's gonna make this way more easy to control because if you don't have this trait, it's gonna make you go in bigger circles when you're trying to turn. And it's a lot more hard, it's a way harder to maneuver. Next, we have Roar of Courage. This is debatably, you could swap this out potentially, but or if you need to save skill points, you can drop points out of the cooldown reduction, even though it is very good because we're mostly taking this for the uh, the skill itself. It does a big AoE burst, and on hit, it reduces the foe's crit resistance. This is better in a party, but it does do decent enough damage to smoke the mobs and gives you nice esoteric meter um, for your esoteric skills. And you could even probably drop this to put more into, you'll see one of my esoteric skills is kind of scuffed because of lack of skill points. Energy Combustion here. This is a skill you unlock at level 50 by going to Trixion and doing the quest for the Awakening skill from Beatrice. And you will get uh, Combustible Armor, which just reduces the damage you take. You don't really need this for Chaos Dungeons, honestly. You could put this on Esoteric Extortion, but you are generating so much meter in these Chaos Dungeons that it's not really necessary. So you could probably even just take Quick Pace to run through even faster. Um, but I just have it on Combustible Armor because it's the practical option for a lot of other scenarios. And then Extensive Combustion, you have the Energy Combustion Duration plus 8 seconds. So what this does is this cooldown is 36 seconds baseline, and this will make the buff last 28 seconds. So it has almost 100% uptime, which is really cool. If you want to kind of have it active for more smaller engages, you can take this middle tripod instead. But for Chaos Dungeons, having it up, you can pretty much clear a whole floor. Um, with one activation of this ability. And then uh, we're down to the esoteric skill, Call of the Wind God. This thing is equally as important. When I when I said that, when I said earlier that Swift Wind Kick was the most important, easily this esoteric skill is just as important and you take Lightning Storm. This thing will suck in mobs and anything that has a vacuum in games like this is absolutely crazy because the mobs just get gathered on you 
and you take growth attack because you've gathered so many mobs this effect will very quickly ramp up and provide a big damage increase to this ability and then after you've done all that you have raging storms and it'll explode and deal massive burst damage to anything that's left over it will get killed uh yeah this ability is crazy this is like your bread and butter esoteric skill and then i need more skill points or i gotta reallocate some stuff uh, to max out more of blast formation, but as we get more uh, stat points, we're going to be going into flame explosion And then eventually we're going to go into uh, Endless destruction for that massive aoe damage. It's going to expand the range of it and Deal bigger damage. All right, so after doing two chaos dungeons This is kind of what your gear is going to look like you're going to have a bunch of baseline 302 item level stuff This is all fine. I'm missing the legs apparently, but I, I have everything else um, I have my class Engraving at 1, Esoteric Skill Enhancement. The reason you want this is it's going to give you a fourth uh, Chakra Bead, which is really sick. This is obtainable if you did a lot of the side quests while leveling up. Um, otherwise, you're probably going to have to go back or you're going to have to keep farming to get this. But the way that I leveled doing a bunch of side quests, I was able to get this. And I believe somebody actually posted a guide that kind of covers all of the quests that will give you these books to get a nice uh, rank 1 or uh, the first engraving. We got rank one esoteric skill enhancement, really important. Then you're, you're not really worried about your stats too much on tier one, it's hard to optimize, but you wanna pump swiftness and then get as much spec as you can on the side. And that's gonna make you do as much damage and lower the cooldowns. The lower your cooldowns get, the higher uptime you get on some of your buffs, which is making it a lot more powerful. And also uh, not to mention just like, it's just faster gameplay, right? You move faster, attack faster, who doesn't want to do that? So now I will leave you guys with the quick clear of a Chaos Dungeon to see what this build looks like in practice. I didn't use the Awakening skill in this run um, as it's not really required, but you can just throw it in at some point when you want and pump some mobs. And on a side note as well, if you have access to other, um, if you have access to other engravings, you're going to want to pick up Adrenaline and Cursed Doll and eventually you want Grudge as well, but Grudge isn't really as relevant in these Chaos Dungeons. Um, and it's kind of hard to get to three because it's a really expensive one and it's going to be hard to build. If you guys found this video useful, please be sure to give this video a like. I tried to make this quick and as detailed as possible. So if you enjoyed this video, like the video and hopefully we'll have more content soon. I would like to get up these kind of videos for other classes that I'm going to play as well. I plan to play Blade and Scrapper or Deathblade, I guess it's called and Scrapper and also Striker as well. And those are the only things I have planned at the moment because I'm going to end up playing a lot of classes eventually, but we might as well start small and yeah, we want Reaper to be released on NA, I think. Until next time, enjoy this run, and we'll see you all again soon.